ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch 15 minutes. Share with everyone. Finally, news that speaks to us. The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act is headed to President Biden's desk. After more than 200 attempts to pass the bill, the Senate unanimously approved the bill last night, officially classifying lynching as a federal hate crime. After more than 200 failed attempts to outlaw lynching, Congress is finally succeeding in taking the long overdue action by passing the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act. Hallelujah, it's long overdue. Joining us now to talk about this is Terrence Evans. He's a partner at the Dwayne Morris LLP. Good to see you this afternoon. Tell us, why did it take so long to pass this as an anti-lynching bill? Uh, thank you so much for having me. Unfortunately, there was resistance uh, as early as, as this year to passing legislation that essentially says that it is unlawful to conspire, to hurt somebody, to kill somebody, based on their race. This is something that should have been passed long ago. And as you mentioned, there were more than 200 attempts, but there was resistance uh, on the conservative side of the aisle. And it is certainly a great thing to see Congress come together, uh, especially in the Senate, to pass this important legislation. Why did it fail so many times? I think there was uh, resistance from folks who thought that we already have laws on the books that make it unlawful to kill somebody or to commit an assault. And I think some of those folks may not have really understood the importance, uh, not only to the black community, but to many communities of color that were terrorized throughout American history uh, as a result of racial hatred. Uh, and I think that with the awareness that our country is now experiencing following the death of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, I think people are finally understanding the painful history of racism uh, that resulted in so many unlawful murders and also the taking of property of many African Americans. And what makes this bill so different? You know, I think what makes this bill different in particular is that it will make it easier uh, to prosecute uh, crimes where there is a conspiracy that results in the death or uh, the, the, the hurt of someone uh, based on racial animus. Uh, in the past, these crimes have been particularly difficult to prosecute, and this will give federal prosecutors uh, It looks like we have lost uh, our guest here. Oh, there you are. We're, we're having a, a bad connection here. I apologize. I'm hoping that you can still hear me. And if you could just um, tell us again what you just said, because we are having some connection problems. No problem at all. I, I said that it basically provides federal prosecutors with another tool to prosecute uh, hate crimes where somebody uh, based on a conspiracy is, is either murdered or they're hurt in some way uh, as a result of racial animus. In the past, it has been very difficult to prosecute these types of crimes. This bill will make it a little bit easier to hold people accountable uh, when these unfortunate incidents happen. Ahmaud Arbery comes to mind. Of course, there was a recent federal prosecution that was successful in that case. But historically, there have been so many efforts to try to hold people accountable when there's these types of violations. And this will make it a little bit easier to accomplish that. Now, only three GOP representatives blocked the bill. One of them, Congressman Andrew Clyde, agreed that lynching is an evil act of violence, but wrote in a statement, quote, Simply put, we do not need another duplicative federal law. Carving out a separate distinction for lynching may be symbolic, but it falsely suggests that individuals who commit or attempt to commit a lynching do not already face criminal charges and consequences, end quote. So my question to you is, is this just a symbolic law? I think it's more than symbolic. I, I think it sends a clear message to people who would, uh, for racist reasons, target people to hurt them, to brutalize them. And it sends a message that this is unacceptable. Yes, we did already have laws on the books that make it unlawful to murder somebody or assault somebody, but it's absolutely critical 
that our federal government sends a message to everyone that this type of racial hatred and discrimination is unacceptable. And I think Congress did the right thing, and I'm so happy that the president will soon be able to sign this important legislation into law. I wish that Emmett, Till, Emmett Till's mother was still here uh, to witness this legislation, uh, recognizing uh, the pain that resulted from her son's death and so many other African Americans. Well, Terrence, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. And we, of course, echoed those sentiments. Take care. Thank you.